Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Learn with Akriti. I hope you are enjoying all your science lessons. Today I am back with yet another lesson. So start with the video. So what is that fuel that our body requires to do our day to day functions? Yes, you guessed it right, it's food. But have you ever thought where do we get that food from? Yes, we get that food from plants. But is it possible to grow all those plants at our home by our own? No, not at all. In order to feed such a large population of the world, we need someone to grow these crops in large quantity to feed all of us. And who grows those seeds in the uh, uh, fields? Those are farmers. Yes, many of the people do farming. And those farmers grow the crops in different fields. And if a plant are grown in a large quantity in a field, that are called crops. So our topic is crops. Now, the practice of growing various crops in large quantities for food and for many other purposes, that practice is called agriculture. Agriculture is a Latin word. It is made up of two words, agar and culture. Agar means a field and culture means cultivation. Together, agriculture means cultivation in a field. When we cultivate large quantity of plants of a different different variety, the practice is called agriculture. Many of your parents, your fathers and the mothers must be involved in this practice. So there from where we get to feed so much of a large population. So now Agri in agriculture, when we grow the crops, the grow crops are mainly of three kinds. First being food crops. As the name suggests, food crops are the crops grown to fulfill the requirement of our uh, vegetables and various uh, other uh, needs. For example, pulses, wheat, rice, maize and many other fruits comes in this food category which are utilized by the humans. Next kind of crops grown in the field are oil producing crops. Yes, as the name suggests, these crops are helpful in producing the oils. For example, Mustard, sunflower, soya bean and many more. For the next kind of crops are fiber crops. As the name suggests, in the fiber crops we get fibers from these plants like cotton, jute, flax and hemp. So these are mainly the three kinds of crops that are food crops, oil producing crops and fiber crops. Now, depending upon the season in India, we can have two different kinds of crops. The two crops grown in India mainly are Kharif crops and Rabi crops. Kharif and Rabi these words are taken from Arabic language. Yes, these are Arabic language words. Kharif in Arabic language means autumn. And Rabi in Arabic language means spring. Kharif crops are mainly grown in summer season. Whereas Rabi crops are mainly grown in winter season. Some examples of Kharif crop are rice, pulses, maize, tomato, onion, watermelon and many other crops. In Rabi season, wheat, 
gram, carrot, apple and many such crops are grown in Rabi season. So these two are mainly the crops grown. One in the summer season, the other in the winter season. Now as we have discussed in our previous lessons that for a seed to germinate into a beautiful plant and then to different crops there are some adequate or ideal conditions like a proper sunlight, proper water, air and such conditions. So in growing the crops in the field farmers need to take care of these conditions. Now from a seed to get into our plate there are some stages involved in the agriculture practice. So now we are going to study about stages in agriculture. Now the first stage of agriculture is plowing. Yes. Now, what, are, what do you mean by plowing? Plowing is a practice with the help of the plow, the farmers are going to look after the quality of the soil. Yes, they are going to loosen the soil. Now, when a seed needs to be grown, we need to take care, farmers need to take care that the soil is of a good quality and Soil depends, the quality of the soil also depends upon the kind of the seed. Now, every seed cannot grow in any type of soil. For example, for the rice to be grown perfectly and nicely, the soil should be little wet. For example, for the groundnut, the soil should be sandy and porous. So, in this case, for a different crops to grow, the soil needs to be in different conditions. So, the first step being the Blowing. Next step is adding manures and fertilizers. Yes, manures and fertilizers are added into the soil in order to increase the quality and fertility of the soil so that every necessary nutrients get into the soil because of which the seed is going to germinate in a better way. So that is why adding manures and fertilizers to the crops are very much necessary. For the crops to grow in a healthy way, the next step after adding the manure and fertilizers has to be sowing of the seed. So in the next step, seeds are sown. Now, for, now, as I told you, that every seed germinated cannot grow in properly into a plant. That is because there needs to be a proper dispersal of the seed. There should be a proper depth in which the seeds are sown. There should be a proper distance between the two seeds. So, the seed should be mature and of a very good quality if we want the seed to germinate. So, the next step is seed sown. After that, after the seed is sown, we need to give the proper water to the crops. So next step is watering the crops. Now the process of watering the crops is called irrigation. Yes, so proper water should be given equally and distributed equally into the crops. And there are various ways and methods of irrigation. After giving the water, the next step is adding fertilizers and pesticides. As fertilizers and manures have already been added in the next step, here... In order to prevent the crop from disease, from not getting a disease and protecting the crop from the harmful animals, we need to add pesticides and insecticides. Why are these 
pesticides and insecticides added in order to keep the crop away from any kind of disease that may happen due to the animals so that the seed sown can germinate in a healthy way. The next step after the seed grows without any disease and in a proper adequate way the crops are harvested. Yes. The cutting down of the crops, the process is called harvesting. The crops are harvested and after harvesting, those all crops are sent to the granary where the crop needs to be stored in the airtight container and safely because those crops in uh, uh, next year will have to be sent to the various supermarkets and from those supermarkets those uh, crops and the vegetables will go to the local markets and from the local market those uh, vegetables and those plants and crops will come to our plate so this is how we get these vegetables at our home so now you can see students to grow a crop in a healthy way lot of steps are required so it is a very hard process the agriculture is done by the farmers and this is how the farmers take care of our crops so that we get the best quality possible as you can see these crops travel hundreds of miles away before coming to our plate so respect the food that your mother cooks for you enjoy your every meal and thank every farmer who are doing this work for us to give us food to feed the entire population so this was about your chapter one more about plants and we will meet for the next video until then stay safe learn your lessons bye for now